Oh, let's do this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Lucy, I do lifestyle videos. I vlog my week every single week and uh, every month I do a favorites video. So that's what you've clicked on. Today we are doing the April favorites for 2021. Um, obviously we are now into May. I do like to give myself a little bit of time, but unfortunately I wasn't very well over the weekend that I normally would have filmed on for the end of the month and I just I just gave myself a break you know so apologies that this is up a little bit late but I hope you don't mind we're gonna we're gonna cut the ramble and we are just gonna crack on with our April favourites so my first favourite it's a little bit of a lie uh, as I did with last month I didn't finish my book in the month um, I have now finished that book but this book I am halfway through. I've read more of it than I did the other one. Um, it is called The Silent Treatment by Abby Greaves. Um, what I have read of it so far, I absolutely love. Um, it is my mission to finish this by this week. Um, uh, no excuse other than the fact that I take longer to read books than I think I do. So I need to start straight away. Like I should have already started my book of the month. Um, it's really interesting, never read a book quite like this. Um, I'm, like I said, about halfway through and I still don't really know kind of the backstory and I like those books. Um, different to what I've read though, doesn't seem super dark, not criminal, um, about a couple that haven't spoken to each other in like months um, and basically this guy is telling the backstory. So I really, really am enjoying just kind of how it's told, how it's written, it's very, uh, easy read I guess really nice and um, takes you into another world which are my favorite to kind of relax with the next thing I want to talk about is my new shoes I have worn these all month long and I will continue to wear them for every month and um, if you don't know me I'm a Converse and Vans girl through and through I have wanted a pair of white Converse for so long. I've wanted white trainers in general for so long. And um, these ones just, I had some birthday money left and I thought, oh, I'll buy them, I'll try them out. I wear them with everything. Um, they really go with my uh, pink trousers that I bought from by Megan Crosby that you guys would have seen in last month's favorites. Um, it was like the perfect thing that I needed to kind of tie the outfit in. Um, but I wear these with jeans, I've worn them with skirts, I've worn them with dresses, just everything. They're, they're a white Converse, they're a classic. Um, but I have to say, these are the comfiest Converse I've ever owned. I don't know if I've just bought like cheap, not good ones before, but these are so cushioned. They're super, super comfy. Um, and I bought these on ASOS, if you're wondering. The next thing I want to talk about is not a tangible object I have, but we have absolutely loved this series called Unforgotten on Netflix. Um, it is really hard to describe. It is a drama, um, but it is basically about historic crimes that kind of get brought to the forefront um, and they have to, yeah, basically figure out who did it. Uh, but these happened 20, 30, 40 years ago. And um, I kid you not, we watched all three seasons of it uh, over a weekend. We just binged it, it was so good. Like it's not the best thing I've ever watched, but it was definitely that thing that like makes you want to watch the next episode and next episode. Um, so we really enjoyed that, would really recommend watching. If you're looking for something to just like get absorbed into, forget about your life, and just sit and watch it. Next uh, few things I have actually are beauty related. Um, the first one I wanna show you, this is really weird, um, but it is this uh, razor. Um, I got sent this by Estrid in November, December maybe. Um, totally was just like a gifted thing, they just said try it out. Um, and I I had a razor at the time, so I just kind of never got around to it. And this month, I actually like tried it. Um, I have to say, I have like I wasn't wowed by it. I've seen loads of reviews that are like, you know, my hair didn't grow back as quick. Um, my legs were so much softer afterwards. Blah 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 blah. All these like magic reviews. 
The reason this is in my favourites though is because as somebody with sensitive skin, this is the softest razor I have ever used. Um, I don't know what it is about it, but <laughs> there is something, I don't know if it's like the, I'm going to stop touching that because that's really dangerous, but like the, um, what, what do you call it? I don't know, like the l moisturising bars bit of it. Um, just makes like the shave so much smoother. I wouldn't say it's any better, but actually on the skin, it doesn't catch as much. Um, and that's why it is in a favorite this month. If you were gonna buy it, like it's a really nice razor. Maybe I just have like hair that grows back really quickly, but it didn't do anything miraculous for me um, concerning like hair growth or anything like that. Um, but it was, it was, it like, shaving my underarms is something that I've always like not enjoyed um but with this it has been it has been quite nice um I'm not sure I'll ever repurchase it they're quite expensive um but it it's been nice um to use the only thing I would say is because it's so like um moisturizing if you like leave this like that way around on like a wet side gets like stuck so that's not a super ideal this next favorite i am super excited about i got this back in my life in the month of april and it is the body shop chamomile sumptuous cleansing butter you guys will have seen this by every beauty guru ever um and i was always really skeptical because it's just more money than like i would typically spend on skincare um i've had one of these I want to say like this time last year um, and I just wasn't in a position to be able to buy one again and we were in lockdown so body shop wasn't open. Anyway, I ran out of my super drug hot cloth cleanser and I thought I'm going to try it again, see if it is like worth the extra money. My goodness, this stuff is like butter. Like it says, um, it's like, it makes your face feel greasy but not in a bad way. You can just tell it's totally like broken every bit of makeup down. Um, it's much kinder on like my eyes and my eyelashes. Um, I think I've noticed less like of my eyelashes like coming out since I've been using this. Um, it is pricier and I wear makeup every day so I'm gonna see how quickly I go through this but I probably had this for two weeks maybe? Just over two weeks. Um, and I, oh, you're not gonna be able to see that. I've had this for about two weeks, I think. And that's kind of what I've used. So do with that what you will. Um, but maybe I'll let you know when I finish it and we can see together how long it lasts me. Um, but honestly, I love this stuff. Like I will probably rebuy because it just feels so good on your skin. My skin feels really nice afterwards. Um, much softer and just feels ready uh just doesn't feel like i've rubbed it with anything harsh um so yeah definitely a favorite this month and finally my last i guess two favorites um but my last favorites have been using makeup brushes again um i have i don't know if you can see got a little pot of brushes there that's the most awkward <laughs> angle i've ever gotten um i've got pot brushes i used to have loads of brushes i actually gave some to my brother's girlfriend um i've given them to friends like obviously cleaned and stuff um and i've really like whittled down my collection now um these are dirty because i use them obviously they're a favorite um but i've got back into using brushes for my foundation and concealer which as a beauty blender gal makes me feel cringe thinking about but somehow it just works these are from the real techniques i want to say core collection that's just off the top of my brain i have no idea if that's right um but the ones with the orange handle and i believe this is the buffing brush and this is the contour brush i think um and i have been using this one for my foundation the foundation i've been using is the ordinary serum foundation and I kind of it, like it makes sense now but my beauty blender was just soaking that up whereas this just makes it smoother like it just looks a lot better on my skin I think it lasts a lot longer um and overall I get a better finish by using this brush and likewise with my concealer um it's just not soaked up 
I don't have that awkward like not blending out. This is really nice and quick just to quickly like do it under my eyes and on my eyelids. So super easy. Um, I go back and forth between brushes and beauty blenders all the time so I'm sure next month I'll be like no nope, I'm back on the sponge hype but for this month 100% these guys have been my favourites, my favourite tools and um, they definitely both need a clean um, but I've been really really enjoying using these. They make my everyday makeup super easy. Guys, we've come to the end of my April favourites. Thank you so much if you watched the whole video. It really means a lot to me. If you like these favourites, please let me know. Really helpful if you guys ever left comments with kind of video ideas or just feedback. If you guys like these videos, it kind of helps me to work out what you guys want from me. And um, if you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love it if you could uh, join this little little family on the internet. Um, as I've said many a time, I'm. So Still figuring out kind of what my what like what I can bring to the YouTube world but um, I'm really enjoying it I really like doing favorites um, so I'm gonna keep doing them even if you guys are bothered about it um, but thank you so so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video goodbye oh maybe I should do one of those like TikTok transitions <laughs>